All right, Coach, thanks for taking the time to, to join us again. Let's first start off with uh, Paige Elston. She averaged 22 points last week. She had that career-high 33 points against Texas A&M International. Just what was so impressive about her play? Yeah, I thought Paige really – she's taking the onus for our team on leading us in scoring and really trying to be the, the catalyst on that end of the floor. Um, you know, we're drawing some stuff up up for her but she's also doing a great job of just attacking when the when the opportunity is there um our team feeds off of her you know she creates opportunities for others uh just because of the attention that she garners from other teams defenses and so um you know she's you know she played 40 ish minutes in back-to-back games you know less than 48 hours apart and um you know, she's a beast, you know, to just continue to play as hard as she does and to withstand the fatigue that she's hitting um, in these games, you know, because of the number of minutes that we're, we're, we're playing her. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're really thankful for, for the efforts that she's given right now. And happy to see her get some accolades, you know, set a new record for herself and those sorts of things. Um, you know, she's putting in, us in position to win games, which is just as important to her as the score, as the point amounts. And, um, but yeah, we, she, she had a heck of a weekend. Now, it was kind of a crazy week for you guys with not just one, but two overtime games. Just with your team, how, how does your team pick itself up after losing two overtime games in one week? Well, when I asked them on Thursday after our loss, what they saw, one of our kids um, said that she thought it was a step in the right direction. Um, Saturday was, was a little more difficult. Uh, we felt like we should have won both games, but we really had – Saturday in our grasp a couple of times. Um, you know, we're, I just keep constantly talking to us about the breakthrough, right? And the breakthrough is coming. I don't know when it will be here, but it's coming. And, um, you know, yeah, it's disappointing to lose and it's been difficult to deal with those and, and process those at the same time. There is some optimism. There is some hope that, you know, we're continuing to get better. We're continuing to be in games against good teams, you know, Kingsville six and in league and, you know, we're right there toe to toe with the elite in our, in our conference. So, you know, our players are really starting to kind of develop that identity that we should be in every game and we should compete with whoever we, we, we lace them up against. And um, that's exciting as a coach, because when you don't have to constantly focus on the confidence level, um, you know, you can really, you can coach the game. And so, you know, we are picking ourselves up, but we're also excited for this week to, to have, you know, some sort of a breakthrough, hopefully. Now, the last time I personally spoke with you, you guys were coming off that road trip to Lubbock and Eastern New Mexico State, where you guys kind of had those two kind of big losses. Since then, you guys have been more competitive. You guys had a win and then the two overtime losses. So what's kind of been the, the turn? What's been the change in this team over the past three games? Well, with each with each day, you just you develop more and more consistency. Right. And so, um, you know, we've had two people uh, out of the lineup since uh, our fourth game back. Um, and those, you know, we're still had some moving pieces right up until about a week ago. You know, now we're, we're kind of establishing when we can expect to go in the game, what, what, what we're expected to do when we're in the game. Um, the number of reps that we're getting in practice that simulates what we're going to need to do in games and those sorts of things. And as I mentioned before, you know, players and coaches, especially at this level, we're creatures of habit, right? So, you know, with all the moving parts every single day through a COVID season, you know, it, it's been difficult for, I think, for the athletes to really determine exactly where they fit in day to day, week to week. Um, but now we just hope we're turning that corner where they're, you know, like I say, you know, the confidence is important, right? And you can't really have a whole lot of confidence if you're in flux. You don't really know what, you know, what you're expected to do or when you're going to be able to go out and try to help the team and those sorts of things. So I, I like our rotation right now. Uh, Coach Clock and I have really kind of invested some time into, you know, communicating roles to our players and, and then kind of establishing our rotation. And, um, and that, that I think has helped. I also just think we continue to get better, you know, we're in the lab and um, we're improving in practice, you know, at this point in the season, most coaches right now are, you know, kind of doing the best they can to save legs. And I probably need to continue to do better at that, but when we're in the practice gym right now, we're in there to improve still in the middle of January, we're kind of getting, turn getting ready for February so um, my players don't always love that but you know we we still have work to do day by day and 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 it's showing the the product is starting to really reflect the work that, that these kids have invested and um, and that's exciting
what areas specifically do you think maybe one or two areas that your team has really improved on the last three games? Well, we've emphasized the defensive end of the floor and, you know, we haven't outscored really anybody um, consistently all year. And so it took me a while, I really think, to convince us that that's not our identity. Our identity is not on the offensive end where we're going to be a high powered machine and we're going to outscore people and the defensive end is going to just be mediocre or average. Um, we've had to really invest and buy into the defensive end of the floor. It's kept us in games. Um, you know, you look at the fourth quarter at Kingsville, we hold them to 10 points in their, in their own gym on, in the fourth quarter um, and give ourselves the chance to fight back. Um, you know, I, I think our players are really dialed in. Um, we're establishing some toughness areas. You know, we, we need to continue to double the post players a little bit better and, and tweak a few more things. But the areas of improvement I've really appreciated are just the buy-in on the defensive end to making the dirty plays and, and playing ugly when we need to, um, to give us chances to win. And, and we've had those chances to win. We just got to cash them in, you know, moving forward. Now you guys are playing the same team twice this week. Just what are some of the challenges that come with that? Yeah, I, it's, that's a great question. I think they're both challenges and luxuries. So, you know, it's one team to scout, right? Um, normally the turnaround on the day between games is difficult because you're all of a sudden you're trying to, you know, kind of wipe your, your brain of what you've just studied for two, three days and, and re and fill it with, with a completely new team and in, in an urgent way uh, in order to play a game in another day against a brand new team. Um, we'll be able to tweak some things based on how tonight goes. Um, we'll be able to have some great film to go over tomorrow and, and on our road trip. And um, the challenge is, yeah, you know, you, you don't have the luxury of making those adjustments and then having time to implement them. Um, you know, you have to do, there's the same amount of urgency, but again, with it being the same team, I'm excited to see what our kids do moving forward. Thankfully, in my opinion, it doesn't really play a role. I don't even know if my players know this, but tonight's game goes against our conference standings and Thursday's game goes against uh, just our overall record and our, it's a regional game, they call it. So they're not both conference games. And so the one that quote unquote counts toward our postseason um, opportunities is a home game. It's the first game where we can be uh, the most prepared. So um, it's not to say that we're going to mail it in on Thursday, but tonight's a really big deal. You know, we really want to get our second conference win. Uh, we want to have a chance to win on our home floor for the third time. And, you know, I, I think the kids are excited. You know, I don't know if I'll ever schedule a Tuesday game after a trip to Kingsville again. I mean, it, the, yesterday they were still pretty fried. Um, we had a decent practice. Today's shoot around will kind of determine, uh, allow me to gauge a little bit about what we look like going in. But, um, but yeah, it, it's, uh, it is different and it, you know, which is fun. I mean, sometimes just the novelty of something different allows the kids to get excited for whatever reason, you know, they want. And, and that's fine by me. Uh, that's interesting that about how the two, uh, games, just one of them is for conference and one of them is for not. So with all of that, just what are the expectations for your team this week? Yeah. Um, play their tails off. Um, we're still a play by play day by day cliche group. I mean, I'm telling you, it, it's, you know, we, we had a heavy film session yesterday where, you know, I, I showed a lot of, you know, clips about, you know, just one thing here, one thing there. And it was a mixture of, of multiple players. And so when I finished that part, the, the areas of improvement part of the film session, I explained that we're not going to ever be perfect. Um, but if one of us can just take one of our mistakes away. And if, you know, a few of us do that, we just take one of our bad plays, our bad decisions away, you know, those could alter the game entirely. And so continuing to put a focus and an emphasis on, you know, each possession by possession and the importance of each possession. Um, because, you know, you throw the ball out of bounds, that's a big deal. Um, you know, you want to get it back and you want next play mentality, but you'd rather also just take care of the basketball. Um, so I, I've, I think that our, our again, the, the investment and the willingness to buy in to just our mentality, our mindset as a staff and as a program and as a culture is, is continuing to grow. It's, it's not stagnant, it's not depleting, it's actually going the right direction. I think some of that is from the success we've had on the court of being in games against great teams or good teams. Um, but I also just think it's, it's about these, these young ladies just really wanting, wanting to do right by the group, 
you know, they're really kind of handing themselves over to the, to the group as a whole. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, this week in particular, um, it's, it's really not any different than it's been, but at the same time, it's hard for these kids to not see the record of the team we're playing. I think if we aren't successful this week, I think we will be far more disappointed than our lack of success last week. Um, you know, you're on the road against Kingsville who's at the top of the heap and, and a good international team. Um, and you're at their place and you're in the middle of adversity and you, you go pound for pound and go to two overtimes. Um, you know, here, especially tonight, we're at home against a winless team um, that we should compete with. And, and, and I'm, I'm excited. You know, it's hard for players, especially when you're losing, it's hard for you to all of a sudden be the favorite, the expected winner. Um, and so, you know, that's a mental challenge, right? That's a mental thing that we have to be able to play in a game that we're supposed to win and not just constantly be the underdog with quote unquote, nothing to lose. And so I'm excited in that regard that tonight we really show who we are and we, we actually walk into the gym with an air about us that we're prepared to win a game um, that we should win on paper. We should win this game, regardless of where our season is currently at. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm comfortable telling my players that they need, you know, we all kind of need to wear that. You need to be able to perform and have success, you know, in that mo in these moments as well. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's an exciting week. It's a big week. Um, and I'm hopeful that we can, you know, get back in the wind calm, you know, starting tonight. All right, coach. Those are all the questions I, I have for you. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join us and uh, best of luck this week. I appreciate you, man.